guys. I am back from camp and I am so excited to share this video with you guys. I know there are several of you who look forward to this video each year, so I am excited to show you what I got this year for my favorite thrift store. And for those of you who have not seen one of these before, um, I will try to link the others um, probably in the description box so that you can check those out if you'd like to see what I got in past years. But um, oh my gosh, my favorite thrift store. I find the most amazing stuff for the most ridiculously low prices. Like you're not even gonna believe it. Um, this year I have this bag. And this bag, which is even heavier, full of clothes. Okay. So before we get started though, I would just like to address <laughs> this hair situation. <laughs> As I'm recording this, this is Tuesday after camp. We got home on Sunday. Um, we leave our trailer there for a couple days. So we left on Sunday, came home, got ready, went to a concert Sunday night with all of our boys. And then um, my husband went back to work on Monday, went to work again today, but then he got out of work a little early. So we left and went to pick up our trailer. So we went to the campground. Well, I took a shower before we were leaving, but my hair has literally been pulled up for over two weeks straight. And I try not to do that because my hair is so thin and I know it damages it. While I'm there, I pull it up straight. I pull it down low. I pull it over to the side. I braid it. I do. I try to do all different things so that I'm not putting tension in the same areas of my hair all the time. Uh, so yeah, so basically when I took a shower today, I was like, you know what? I don't care if I'm going to be outside there at the campground walking around and doing whatever. I am having my hair down. So it looks scraggly and that's just the way it is. It's air dried and I got to give this poor hair a break. So that is what I'm addressing there. But so let's go ahead. I have not looked at these clothes since I got them. And that was the Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday before camp started. So tomorrow will be two weeks since I went and got these, except for two items, which I'll show you that. But actually, I'll start with those. Okay. Okay. So these two items, actually, I had gone in with um, a couple friends and uh, I just added to my one friend's bag. So you'll understand when I tell you at the end what I paid for everything. But basically I was cracking up and I'm like, please do not think I'm actually wearing this and thinking like I'm seriously going to look good in this. Okay. Because my sister does a Halloween party every year and it's always themed and she'll do it like to a murder mystery. Like in the one year it was the Roaring Twenties, which we made it into the Roaring Twenties meets 2020. So it was, you dressed like you're from the twenties, but also had like a zombie kind of look to you. And, um, so that was super, super fun. And so the one she was going to do last year, she ended up being kind of just too stressed out and so decided to not do her party last year. So she's going to do that theme this year since she had already purchased it and all that kind of stuff. So the um, murder mystery that she chose, it's called Trailer Park Tragedy. So we're supposed to dress like trailer trash. Now, let me please say right now, if you live in a trailer, I am not being like rude and um like discriminatory toward you i lived in a trailer at one point i have a sister-in-law who lives in a trailer like in a trailer park and so i am not at all being like saying something about people who live in trailers okay this is just for fun it's not anything to, <laughs> to like, take seriously so i just want to put that right out there like this is not me going like something about trailer trash i'm just it's the goofiness of like the murder mystery thing that she chose so please just I just want to put that out there before anybody tries to say I'm being hateful in some kind of way. I'm not. But so I found this and I was cracking up. And so now, mind you, I'm with like all my like friends from church and not all my friends, but a couple of friends from church were in there. And so um, I'm like, obviously, I'm not wearing this like thinking I'm like being like, woo, -woo. it's just funny for the theme. And so I found this Moda International. It's. 92% silk and 8% spandex fancy and it's this red silky top with the little lace down here and the lace at the front now I don't even know if this is supposed to be a shirt or if it's pajamas I think it's a shirt though and I think it zips yeah it zips up the side over here to get it on and then you zip it so it's actually a little bit more woo, form fitting and it's just plain in the back but like, woo, just kind of cute, you know, like I'm thinking red lipstick, like I'm going to go out and do my hair real big and stuff. It'll just be fun. So that is just for fun. And then though, while I was in there for that, or and found that, I did also find this jacket. 
This is Aperenza, I don't know. Um, and it's a stretch kind of material, but it's just a little black jacket, really simple, just little pockets here. There's buttons down on the cuffs and it zips. My throat just made a weird noise, please excuse. And so I'll zip it up and just show it to you like that. So just a really simple little like black jacket. And I honestly thought like I could throw it on over this and leave it open for the party because I'm not like, I'm not about like showing my goods or anything. So just, just, just saying for that. I don't think that'll happen though with this, which is kind of why I got it because it's not like super, super low cut and I could even put like a little black cami under it. And so that's the first two things. Those two I did remember because I got them like that next week, but then all the rest of this stuff is stuff I got two weeks ago tomorrow. By the time you guys are seeing this though, like today is Tuesday the 9th. So you're gonna see this like next Wednesday, which will be Wednesday today for you. Yeah, <laughs> but so I don't even remember what is in here. Now the cool thing about this stuff too, is if something doesn't work for me, I can see if it works for, or, hmm. slow down, you know. I get super excited when I do thrift stuff Thrifted Look for Less Challenge videos, I do the same thing. I'm like, da 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 Like, I tell my husband I feel like such a spaz when I record those, but I'm so excited about it, I can't help it. Anyway, if stuff doesn't work for me, usually it'll work for one of my sisters or for my niece or something. If not, if it's something that I can put on Poshmark, I might, but typically I give it to somebody in my family or I just donate back because then someone else can buy it and I'm not really out anything. You'll find out why. Okay, so this is a Goodfellow & Co., um sweater it's just a cardigan and it's a medium so it'll be slightly oversized for me and it's a little longer and it's just like a charcoal kind of gray and you know whatever buttons down just a simple kind of cardigan there but nice and lightweight and now I've got <laughs> yay this is see this is gonna be fun for me too it's like Christmas because I've already forgotten what I had gotten and so now I'm like looking at it all again this is the land the brand lush and it is a dress let me get things figured out here so it looks like this i really like the it's like a netted material so the sleeves are actually sheer and they are kind of like um ruched on the sides so they like cinch up a little bit and you can or they have like the little ties on at the wrists so it's long sleeves, but that's sheer. And then I like this cute little detail right here that's roughly around the waist area. And it's just a fairly short, you know, kind of dress, but super cute and will be cute even still in the fall and stuff. And I could wear it with tights if I wanted to and little booties or wear it now in the summer because it's light enough because of the sleeves. So super cute dress, love the color. It's got that open like kind of keyhole back, so. Next up are two of like the same thing. These are Falls Creek, which I think, is that at Walmart? Where is Falls Creek from? I don't, or is it Meyer? maybe? I can't remember right now. It's one of those places. I feel like maybe Meyer. But anyway, they are pants and they look like this. So they've got really cute, like around the waist there. So if you wear a shirt tucked in, super cute, or like a bodysuit even. And then the pockets also have that same. And then the back is just, um, you know, plain like this. And then they're just straight leg to the bottom. And there's also a pair of blue that are exactly the same. Now, when I say if something doesn't work for me, I can give it to, you know, one of my sisters and my niece or something. Um, the reason I don't know if it works for me yet is because this place only has one place to try things on. And it's in their bathroom. And they have a mirror that's like one of those not great quality full length mirrors. So it sort of feels like you're in a fun house mirror. So it's not very accurate anyway to show you like how something actually looks on you. But again, with what the prices are, it doesn't really matter. But you have to wait till the end to find that out. But so those two pair of pants that are the same and I'm hoping they work out because they look really cute. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about this. So this is like, I love stuff like for this for around the house. I don't know what the brand is. There isn't a brand in it, but whatever. Um, but it's just a little like wrapper and it's like just a really soft material, 
But I love stuff like this, like I said, just for being like around the house in the summer. And so I would never wear this out in public. I think this looks like pajamas anyway with the type of material that it is. But um, yeah, just something cute to wear at home. Now this is Old Navy and it says it's a large, but it doesn't look that big. I mean, it looks like it might be a little oversized. I'll have to see what the sleeves are like on, but it's just a green cardigan. So simple, lightweight, just the, like that. I did like the detail on it of the way the, um, if you can see like the seaming there and down the front sides. And then it's also like that in the back. So really cute. I love cardigans to just throw over t-shirts and stuff in the winter. So um, yeah, here's another thing I'm hoping works out. Well, I hope everything does, but you know what I mean. Um, and it is a, like, it's a very lightweight kind of sweatshirt material, but it's a dress and it just has like the sleeves that you can, I'll probably roll them, not have them be like that, but that you can button up and roll, or you could have them long if you wanted to, but it's just very simple. The back is plain too. It's nothing like super fancy or anything, but if this looks cute on, like I even have like a cute belt I could maybe wear with it or wear it with leggings or tights and boots or booties or whatever, and just have like a nice comfy kind of dress thing, but it's soft and cozy at the same time. Okay, this is another one that the size says that it's a double XL, but it doesn't look like it at all. But some things too, if people wash them and they don't pay attention to the instructions on how to wash them, they might have shrunk. So um, I think that might be the case with this. It's Morona, so that's from Target, I'm pretty sure. And it's just like a leopard print um, cardigan, just like this. Again, not super thick. It's a little thicker than the other ones were, but nothing like real thick. Just plain in the back, but I love like that leopard print so I'm hoping it'll be cute and not too terribly big but if not I'll give it to somebody else and then the last thing in this bag is a sweater this one says it's an extra large but again it doesn't look that big but I also I, I'm, I'm trying to get I don't want to have things that are too oversized because I'm very short so um if it something's too oversized it kind of swallows me up but I also would like some things that are like a little not so fitted so um that is this sweater. So again, like a leopard print, but it's gray and black, so more subtle. And the sleeves are just plain gray and are nice and thin. Did I say that's Morona also? So Target. And the back is just plain gray as well. So, and I like how the pattern kind of gets less at the bottom. Super cute. So that is bag one. And now for bag two, that is even heavier and more packed than bag one. <laughs> So let's see what we have here. First up is a shirt. It's Eddie Bauer. And I just really liked the colors of it. And I don't have anything like it. And it's this orange and white, kind of like a thin sweatshirt material. It's thicker than a long sleeve tee, but it's not thick like a sweatshirt. So it's kind of in between. And I love the colors, the orange and white like that. I love how there's the different types of striping. So like the bigger and then there's that smaller with the accent of the pocket and the sleeves. And it's just kind of a scoop hem, but not severe scoop hem because I don't like that on me. And I just thought this was really cute and I wanted it. It seems like a good fall shirt. So yeah. This is from, from Maurice's and it's just a simple kind of like blousey shirt that I'll wear um, like a little tank underneath. And it's just got this little tiny print on it. I don't know what you would say that print is, but it's got a little zipper on the front. And again, it does kind of like that scoop. The sleeves look like they're going to be more like three quarter length sleeves. And they have the little button down here, but they also have where you can roll them or scrunch them and do with the um, here to like hook to the button like that to make them shorter if you want to do that. And so just really cute and something I can wear like for church and stuff. And so, yeah, this one's really exciting. It's just a Gildan um, simple tank to wear for like workout stuff. Um, usually these I wear a small in because I think this one I have on might be a Gildan also one as a small, but um, for working out and stuff and just being at home, I don't care if it's oversized. So, and I liked the color, so that's why I got it. This does not have a tag, so I have no idea the brand or the size, but it's just a black like pullover, um, zip, you know, zip pullover, simple kind of thin 
it looks a little bit bigger, but um, I like to wear these in the winter over my workout clothes at home. So um, I like basically live in workout clothes at home. And so I like to just throw on something like this over it to give me a little bit, you know, more warmth so I don't have bare arms over my tank tops and stuff. But um, so yeah, this next one is from Express and it is this super cute little tank. I love the little strappy straps. <laughs> and then the front has just this little keyhole that has a tie there. Now I would definitely have to wear a little um, tank under it because it's sheer, but I love just the pattern on it and stuff and just the little flouncy ruffles on the sides over here. And I just thought that was really cute and stuff like this is really cute underneath of um, cardigans and stuff too in the fall and winter. So I love it. Now I have seriously gotten some of my best like workout leggings from the thrift store. I've gotten Under Armour ones. Um, oh, what else? Some Old Navy. Um, I can't even remember right now. But anyway, some of my favorite workout leggings I've gotten here. And so I found these. They are from Old Navy. And it's funny because I think it's kind of an old style because it looks like it folds over like this. So this would be the back. So let me fold it down to show you. So it's like a fold over waist. And this is the back, which this is hilarious. It reminds me of like giving you like a little tramp stamp tattoo, but without the permanent, you know, permanent see yeah um and nobody gets those anymore anyway <laughs> but it just kind of cracked me up but so it folds over like that and then the front has just this little thing right here whatever that's supposed to be but they are like actually like a crop that's flared and like I said I work out or I, I work out and work out clothes at home yeah I do actually but I like live and work out clothes and so I'm like those look like they'd be comfy and just something cute to wear around at home so I got those I love the color so much it actually I feel like it's showing up way like a darker blue on there well no maybe not no it looks like it like it does I'll be quiet now this is another thing that's a little more oversized this is um um, Massimo, Massimo, I don't know how you say it, but from Target, and um, it's a size large, but it's just a zip up hoodie, and it's pretty simple. It's got the hood there, and just this color, like you know, heathered. It's like black and white, really. It looks kind of gray from a distance, but black and white. And I, like I said, I love things like this to just throw over quickly over top of my stuff. So, and that'll actually go cute with the. It could go cute with the blue. I can't speak. <sighs> settle down Danielle you're excited settle down <laughs> um but yeah might look cute with those uh leggings that I already showed you some of my favorite leggings to wear at home I don't wear them out in public but are the um LuLaRoe leggings they're just really soft and comfortable and I love to just hang around in them and so I saw these ones and they have like a 70s vibe to them that I enjoy and so I thought why not pick them up but if you can see they're like orange and like a gray it's like a grayish blue really and a little like lighter gray in there and they're just you know funky fun super soft comfy my kind of jam this is another workout tank this is from avia is that how you say it avia i think anyway it's got like just a really cute little if you look at it close it's got the little holes in it and so it's just a simple little workout tank i mean it's nothing crazy to write home about the front has is just a sheer or um like regular solid panel and the back has the little dots or holes like jersey you know sports jersey kind of style thing and so that is that well, this next one i have a few things from this brand it's tangerine i've gotten them at sam's club so i don't know where else they sell them but that's where i've gotten mine but um it is just this really cute again um it's like a like half zip pullover. I love just the pattern, you know, the stripes on it. And then the inside of the hood is this, like these little dots. And the back is cut really cute. They cut their like clothes, like the seams and stuff are really flattering. So it's got a really cute, I'm not holding that very well to show you, um, like the style of the back. And I like how the front has the little like pocket and probably has thumb holes it does I never use those on shirts but it does have it but just really really cute love this material and yeah I say and yeah a lot sorry 
Next up is from Banana Republic. This I'm going to try and see how I feel about it. Um, it's very different for me, but I'm like, mm, I might be able to do something cute with it. So we're going to see. It is like a magenta kind of with gray dots. And it's like a blouse. It has a little bit of a higher neck, which I like stuff with a cute like neck detail. And then it's got the ruffle down the front. It's sheer. Obviously, I'd wear something under that. <laughs> and then it's got the sleeves again that have the little cinching like this. Um, oh, and there's the little on the side here is the little button and keyhole. I don't know if you can see there. Danielle, get your face out of there like that. And so I don't know. I feel like maybe I could make it work. We're just going to have to see. So cute. Now I've kind of always wanted a blazer, but I just, I don't know, never really, you know, have looked to purchase one somewhere. And then when I have thought about it at a surf store, they've never had anything that I wanted, but I did see this one and it is Morona brand from Target. And so it's just a simple black blazer. It's got buttons down the sleeve here. It does have a slight bit of shoulder pad. Um, got the pockets, I think they're faux. No, they're not, they're real pockets on the front there. And the back is just like this. Got the little pleat in the back. It's just a two button blazer. Um, so we're gonna see how that works because I don't know, I've never worn like that before. I have like one kind of blazer thing, but it's not like blazer material, it's more fitted. And I haven't worn it in a really long time. So um, we shall see. Now this is actually from Craft and Barrow and it is a skirt and it zips up the side and it has a little, like the little um, eye hook over here. And it just looks like this. It's long, it flares out a little bit at the bottom and it's just like a charcoal gray and like red floral print, but it's got the little like netted, like lace kind of look in the flowers. So there's that. I found this skirt, which is so cute. It is from Loft and I love the colors. It's just like summery and fun. It's like white and like a peachy coral and like kind of a reddish color. And it has cute little flouncy detail down at the bottom and it's kind of scoops. So I'm excited to see what that might look like. This is from the brand Green Tea, which I also feel like I have found at Sam's Club before, but I'm not positive. It's a medium and it's kind of just an oversized. This would be another thing that I'd wear at home kind of over like workout stuff. It is a really pretty like teal color, but it's heathered with white. And I like just the cut of it. It just looks really cozy and big and oversized like to, or to wear with leggings and stuff around the house and whatever. So um, I like the way the bottom is. It's just, it's simple and, but it seems so cozy, it's really soft. Now this one's a total stretch, but I loved the pattern on it. So I'm like, I'm gonna just see if it's something I can make work or not because it is a large and the brand is simple, which I haven't heard of before. Um, I, I think it's just gonna look like a sack, <laughs> but I'm gonna see if there's a way to like belt it or something. I don't know. But anyway, this is what the pattern is like. It's like a tie dye, but with polka dots. And I just, I don't know, something about it I really love. And it's just like a big piece of material. It's kind of like a poncho-ish type of shirt because, okay, so this is a sleeve. So it's just big with some armholes. So it might just look absolutely ridiculous or I might be able to do something with it. So that will be a challenge to see if I can do something with it. This is a very simple, same that um, Massimo, Massimo, however you say it, um, just t-shirt. And it's just, I love this like mustard color. I love the little tiny pocket on it. It's a V-neck, which I prefer V-neck t-shirts. And so it's just a simple, but I like this again for underneath cardigans and stuff. This is like my jam. This is from Old Navy and it is just a simple, like very lightweight sweatshirt kind of thing. Um, it's navy and white striped, simple like this, but then the sleeves are cutely like elasticized at the bottom and it also has like the little ruffle on the sleeves. That doesn't always work for me, so I'm gonna see how it looks with this because I have big arms kind of like 
I don't love my arms. So I feel like they're very big and I keep working on them, but uh, um, so sometimes I feel like it just adds to the bulkiness look of my arms. So I will have to see how that goes, but um, hopefully it's cute because it's just simple and classic like pattern and colors, you know? This is a dress. It is from the bland, the bland, no, the brand Splendid. And it is a super simple, just dress like this. Just got the bottom that's a rough kind of, it's not a rough hem because it is um, stitched around the bottom, but then they have the rough underneath. And it's just a very simple kind of dress but something that I can totally picture with like flip-flops or maybe even just as like a um bathing suit cover-up but really cute and then the very last thing is another thing that I kind of hope I can make work is from Christopher and Banks mom my mom doesn't watch my videos but if she did she would yell at me because my sisters and I literally went into a Christopher and Banks store and took her out of it one time because I'm like no like this no because the styles that I was seeing were no. <laughs> so for me to have picked up something that was that brand, however, when you see what it is, it's a very like classic kind of style. So that's why. Um, but again, these kind of things don't always work on me, but then again, maybe it will. And I can kind of picture how I would wear it, style it. So it is just like a chambray kind of shirt. Very simple the way the neckline is. It's just short sleeves, very simple bottom, not a whole lot to it. Just something that you could definitely wear a lot of different ways I feel like and so that was everything that I got from my thrift store excursion while at church camp this year so let me just just prepare to have your mind blown in a second here by the amount of money that I paid for these items just just give yourself a moment okay if you think you're ready if you think you can handle it I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know, but just a second, <laughs> because I also wanted to say one of my goals going in there was I was very bored with my um, like fall winter wardrobe this past year. There are several things I've been wearing for years and years, and I'm just tired of them. And so I listed a bunch of stuff on my Poshmark. I donated a bunch of stuff. So I went through my closet and kind of took out a bunch of stuff. So I had a goal in mind to go in and find some new fall winter items and I felt very excited about the things I found because I do feel like I have found some great pieces for that so um I felt very accomplished and then of course some extras too so you want to know the goods how much did this stuff cost well I have 31 items here 31 okay they had a lovely little special going fill a bag for four dollars that means I spent eight dollars for 31 items. That means that each piece was just under 26 cents. Yeah, you heard me right. Just under 26 cents for each piece of clothing that I have here. Like, are you kidding me? Now you tell me, have you found a better deal than that at the thrift store? I would love to know if you have. <laughs> I am so thrilled with what I found. I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it. And um, definitely, of course, Thrifted Look for Less is coming up very quickly. And so, there's a very strong possibility you're going to be seeing one or some of these pieces in my Thrifted Look for Less challenge. So I am excited to be able to try all this stuff on and just see, I'm, I'm really hoping that things fit the way I hope that they will. But like I said, even if they don't, at that price, I have no problem re-donating things, definitely not giving them to my sisters and my niece you know, that kind of stuff, or my mom, whatever. So um, there is always someone that I can bless with this stuff if I am not able to use it myself. So I have no problem doing that. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to hear what you guys think. What was your favorite? And um, you'll just have to watch and see what, what I pull out for that challenge coming up. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're as excited about what I got as I am. Well, probably not because you're not going to wear it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> But I get super excited when I watch other people's videos like this. Like, even though I don't get to have the stuff, I'm excited for them because that's just fun. Be excited for other people. That's fun. And, um, yeah. So, thank you guys. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.